So what exactly is For Honor? Well, primarily it's a third person multiplayer focused game, but don't worry, it is confirmed that there will be a single player campaign to some extent. And keep in mind, For Honor isn't going to be a fantasy game, meaning there won't be any magic or dragon slaying, so my guess, as well as many others, is that we'll play as each faction, those being the knights, vikings, and samurai for a couple missions each. But that's just speculation at this point. Anyways, let's go over some of the confirmed facts about the game before we jump into the multiplayer aspect. First and foremost, For Honor is not a free-to-play game. It will be 60 US dollars or your regional equivalent when it releases on the PS4, Xbox One, and PC, which should be sometime in 2016. For Honor will include split-screen capability, which thank you by the way Ubisoft, we really don't see that in games nowadays, which is a bit upsetting. Also, if you don't want to jump straight into multiplayer matches when you finally get your hands on the game, no worries there either, because Ubisoft has stated that there will be a mode where you can fight enemy AI. So think Rainbow Six Siege's terrorist hunt mode, but in For Honor, and probably a lot less difficult. Anyways, let's switch topics now and talk about the multiplayer aspect of the game. Like I mentioned earlier, there's a total of three factions, Knights, Vikings, and Samurai. Now, under these factions, you can choose from a variety of heroes. These heroes have different fighting styles, armor, weapons, and special abilities. The only three that we know of so far is the Knight's Warden, the Samurai's Oni, and the Viking's Raider. Each, again, will have their own fighting style, armor, weapons, and special abilities. Also, it's worth noting that there will be both male and female heroes featured in For Honor. Another huge thing worth mentioning is that the game is also confirmed to have customization to some extent. According to Amazon.com, we'll be able to customize each facet of our warrior, including the chest, shoulders, and helmet. Beyond this though, we haven't really got any more information towards customization, so we'll just have to wait and see. As far as game modes go though, there has only been one confirmed game type, which is Dominion. This game mode is 4v4 based with AI scattered across the map. The objective is simple, capture various points throughout the map. When one team reaches 1000 points, it will force that enemy team into what the game refers to as breaking. This means that the enemy team can no longer respawn, so if you kill all four of them, your team will win that match. However, if they start capturing points again, they'll come out of breaking and the match will continue until one of the team loses during breaking or if time runs out. Now, in most multiplayer games, you get rewarded with kill streaks, and For Honor is no exception. For the Knights, there's things like healing yourself, giving your team a boost so they can push forward, and even catapult strikes. You can obtain these different feats, or kill streaks if you will, by capturing different objectives, killing enemies, or even the AI. But remember, each faction will have different feats or kill streaks. Moving on though, let's focus a bit more on the combat system. Holding L2 or left trigger will lock onto an enemy and enter guard mode. Now, if you move the right analog stick, this will control your weapon and which direction it's facing. For this, you have three options, guarding from the left, top, and right. But remember, you have to mimic your enemy's attacks so you don't take any damage. In addition to this, you also have the ability to dodge by pushing X on the PS4 controller and A on the Xbox One controller. There's also a guard break throw, which can be done by pushing square twice on the PS4 controller or X twice on the Xbox controller. Now to attack your enemy, you'll still have to hold down L2 or the left trigger. Pushing down on the right bumper will cause a light attack and remember moving the right analog stick controls where the sword will actually hit. However, if you want to perform a heavy attack, simply push on the right trigger instead of the right bumper. Keep in mind though, heavy attacks are a bit slower, but the damage that is dealt is quite a bit more compared to the light attacks. Once the enemy's health is basically gone though, feel free to perform a sweet execution by pushing triangle or square. And you should definitely follow that up with an emote by pushing triangle on the controller. With that being said though, that brings us to the end of the video. If you didn't know, For Honor will have a beta at some point and you can enter it by just registering an account on their website. A link will be in the description down below. Again, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe as we're probably going to hear a lot more details about this game in the coming months. As always, thank you so much for watching and let me know in the comments down below which faction you are, a knight, a samurai, or a viking. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all later.